Hi, it's Kay from Crowd with Kay. How are we all doing? In the building with me is Pickle, but she is in the other room. So here we have a PR package. This is from the lovely company Seven Great. They reached out to me again, um, and I recently finished the snowman that I got from their previous pa uh, PR package, which I'll put a picture over here. It was actually a lot of fun to do, and so yeah, I was more than happy to work with them again. So yeah, they reached out, and I was like, yeah, go for it. So shall we have a look see see what we get? Okay, so get everything out of the bag. So let's do this little thing first. Oh, I remember what this is. So here we have. Like, I saw. I think uh, Dan Payton Peter has one of these, and I was really intrigued, and so I was very happy to have this now. It's really cute. And you see all these uh, bits here? It's a thread car. Let me find... Give me a moment and I will show you. Okay, I've got uh, just this thread out of my pot. So the idea... Oh, that's cool. There's a little uh, shiny stone in there as well. So the idea is you can put it in any of these gaps. And it cuts it. So in case... Uh, in alternative instead of scissors... Uh, say if you go on planes or anything like that, this might be a really good alternative. This is like a hole up here so you could put it onto a, some sort of keychain. And yeah, so I just thought it was really pretty and a good idea. They've got a couple of different colours and styles. But yeah, so that works, which is awesome. So yeah, thread cutter. Alright, let's see, which one should we do first? Let's go. Let's go this one. Put that one over there for a minute. So this is unusual. So usually they come in a different packaging. But let's have a look. So now this is an 18 count 20 by 20. Let's have a look. So let's get everything out of the bag. Pop that there. Okay, so this comes with a little tool set thing, which is quite unusual. So you get a needle threader, which I've never learned how to use these uh, hooks. I've tried, but I cannot. I personally can't get the hang of the hooks. We've got a needle threader. We've got a little thimble, which is adjustable because it's not sealed, so you can adjust it to any size. And we've got an itty bitty pom pom with some these needles. Yeah, needles. That's cool. So we've got a whole bunch of needles. One, two. So I've got four needles in the little pom pom. So to kind of use as a little pincushion thing. That's quite cool. So that's quite nice. I like that. So you get a little tool kit. And here we go. Here's the paper. So a little 20 by 20. So they're not very big, which is good. Sometimes it's nice to have short projects. And this is the image. So I will show you. Only, there's no like legend. I thought this one was a stamped one, but it's not. It's counted. Ooh. So instructions on how to cross stitch. And yeah, here we go. So that's the image. It's like a stained glass snowman. So yeah, this is really cool. So we've got the legend. At least I'm very glad that the legend is very clear and easy to read. Yeah, I thought that this one was a stamped cross stitch, but it's not. So what this one is, is so a stamped cross stitch has the pattern printed onto the onto the material. Like diamond painting, where you have the pattern on, you just put, you don't have to do much work to figure out what goes where. With this one, this is called counted cross stitch. I think that's what the CT stands, counted, counted, I believe. And that means you've got to follow the pattern back and forth. So you look at the paper to see where you're actually going. So that's going to be interesting. I'm glad this is a small one. But the symbols are really easy to read. Pretty simple. So that's going to be an interesting project. 28 is 5200. Because the material is white anyway, I would honestly be very tempted just to not worry about doing any of the white. Um, purely because it's a white material. So that would also save you a heck of a lot of time. So that's this one. We've got the thread. So as you can see, lots of blues. Perhaps 
Okay. So here we go. So we've got lots of blues and obviously a lot of white. But like I said, I'm not going to worry about the white material myself. There we go. Okay, so we've got 28 colours. I'm loving these sort of shades of teal. Teal and blue. Those are lovely. But yeah, here we go. So just the odd pop of colour. But yeah. So this is 18 count, I believe I said. So I'm not 100% sure. Sometimes it says on these things. Nope. Sometimes it will have a tick next to whether it's uh, how many threads you need. I'm going to say it's probably two threads. Um, is my guess. My guess is two threads. And when it's two threads, I usually just use one long piece of thread and put it through the needle and tie both ends together. And that makes you use two threads. So yeah, so that's that one. Let's put this in here. So that's gonna be a nice one to do. Like I said, it's a it's a winter snowman. And it's like a, a mosaic um cross mosaic sort of stained glass. Which I really like the look of. So that's that one. Next, let's see what this one is. Oh wow, look at all that. Oh, one second, little one wants me. Yep, she's fine, so that's good. Okay, so let's get into this one. Here we go. Oh, so we get another toolkit, the same stuff. So again, pink pom pom with about four needles, a threader, and a thimble. Look at these, you've got blues and purples. I'm loving the colour palette. <clears throat> it's how to cross stitch. And this is 18 count again. And this is the image. It's a stained glass dragon. And this one is also counted cross stitch. Let me just check something one second. Yep, so I've just double checked and it is indeed count. I chose the counted cross stitch ones. I didn't realize it's counted, but that's fine. So, this is what it says the 18 count counted cross stitch. So, it said it right there. That's my bad for not reading. So, again, it's only a 20 by 20. So, again, I probably won't bother with all the white. So, what? Uh, well, actually, no, I might have to actually. This is 3865, so it's an off white. But let's see, so again, the symbols are easy to read, they're not fuzzy. There's a couple of uh, pointy triangles. I didn't notice that one on the other one, there probably was. Uh, but they are different colours. And just a close up. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. So yeah, I'll keep you guys up to date on these. But yeah, 20 by 20 as well. And there's the mock up. So let me get the images for you for both of these. So, um, so this is one of them. It's pretty cool. And then links for everything is down below, of course. And let's see, where's the other one? It is here. See, and again, counted cross stitch. So that's the difference between counted and stamp. Counted, you actually have to count the squares and actually work, you know, put a bit more thought and effort and brain power into doing the cross stitch. A stamped kit is so much easier because the pattern's on the paper, on the material, and you can just go. One second. Sorry about that. Little one is, should we say, very tired and grumpy at the moment. <laughs> I can't quite remember what I was saying. Uh, but that's right, I showed you both of the things. Links for everything will, of course, be down below. Uh, I'm definitely glad that these are tiny, tiny little kits. <clears throat> that means I stand half a chance of uh, getting it done. Which is 
awesome. What would you want to see me working on first? Dragon or snowman? Ah, I can't get it in. It's stuck on the... There we go. So yeah, what would people like to see me work on first? Snowman or dragon? And again, a reminder of the little threader, thread cutter. So yeah. Let me know thoughts down below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again, seven great, and embrace the love. See you later guys, bye!